Hi guys, so this week we are talking about tactile texture and tactile texture is something that you can feel with your hands. So I'm not looking at a picture of grass and saying, oh, I bet I know what that feels like. I'm actually feeling the grass with my hands. So if I pet my puppy dog, the texture of my dog is very soft, long fur. If I rub a brick wall outside with my hand, the texture of that is going to be very bumpy and rough. So for our project this week, we're going to be gluing and finding different things to put on our paper that if someone was to feel your artwork, they could feel all of those different textures with their hands. So the first thing I've done is I've gotten just a plain background paper for myself and it does not have to be white. Whatever you have on hand is great. The second thing I've done is I've gone around my classroom and I found some different things that I could glue down on my paper. So when you're going around your house, you need to make sure you are asking your grown up before you use these things in your artwork this week because we don't wanna like cut up our grown up's favorite t-shirt and glue it down on our paper without their permission, they might be kind of sad or upset with us. So you always wanna ask permission, can I use this in my artwork this week? Can I glue this down on a piece of paper before we use those things? So some examples of things that you could find around your house would be things like tin foil, bubble wrap, sandpaper, cotton balls, fabric, string, cardboard, paper towels, a paper or a plastic bag different things like that. So I have found a few different things. First of all, I found a piece of sponge and I dipped that in some black paint and then I stamped it onto my paper. And when I rub my finger over this paint, which is dry, I let it dry, um, it feels kind of rough a little bit. Yeah, you can feel where those holes in the sponge were. Same thing with this one. I put a little dot of paint on my paper and then I took a fork and I ran it back and forth through my paint. And when I run my finger over this, it feels kind of rough and bumpy, like there's ridges in it from my fork. This was the last texture that I stamped on my paper with paint. And it was just the edge of cardboard. If you look at the edge of a piece of cardboard, it's kind of a zigzag and it makes a really cool um, texture when you stamp it down, especially if you use a lot of paint on whatever you're stamping. That's kind of a fun way to get some texture on your paper. And I love doing that in the background. So if you happen to have paint at home and you want to stamp some things in your background, once that paint's dry, you can definitely feel that on the surface of your paper. The second thing I found was this glitter paper. So if you have some glitter at your house and your grown up is really brave and lets you use it, you could glue down some glitter because when glitter is dry or when it's on paper like this, first of all, it sheds everywhere, which drives Miss Turner crazy but you can feel it with your hands and it feels kind of rough, almost like sandpaper. Then I glued down this piece of tissue paper. So you might have some leftover wrapping from the holidays if you celebrated those with your family. And I glued down some of that. So I painted some glue down on my paper and then I crumpled up my tissue paper and spread it over that glue. So now when I run my hand over this, First of all, it makes a little bit of a noise, which is fun, but I can feel all these wrinkles from where I glued it down. The last couple of materials that I have before I'm done with my visual texture picture, I found this really cool paper in my classroom and you can see it's got a really awesome texture to it. You can hear it too when I rub my finger over it. It makes like fun noises. So that's a textured piece of paper. And then I also found this piece of packing material, which also has glitter all over it. Excuse me, I had a little cough. I found this piece of packing material that arrived in one of my supply packages and it has this really awesome kind of like waffly texture on it. So I'm gonna use both of those pieces of paper and I'm going to be cutting them into shapes because remember for this project, we don't just wanna use visual texture, and we also want to use as many shapes as we can in our artwork. So I've already done some kind of organic shapes. They don't have any rules. It's not like a square or anything like that. They're just kind of curvy blob shapes. But I'm going to do, I think, a rectangle and a triangle. And I'm going to turn this into a house. Because this kind of reminds me of a cactus. This kind of reminds me of a cloud. And then I have these things in the background that kind of look like they might belong outside. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of paper and I'm just gonna cut it into a rectangle. And it doesn't have to be perfect, we're just doing our best. 
Then I'm gonna glue that down, I think over here, right next to my little cactus. Then I'm going to cut a triangle out of this material for the roof of what I'm making into a house. Now you notice when I'm cutting, I'm holding it with a few fingers through one end and your thumb through the other, and I'm cutting away from my body. I'm not cutting towards myself like this. If you slipped, you might hurt yourself on accident. And I'm also not cutting towards my fingers like this because oops, if I slipped there, I might cut myself and hurt myself. So I'm cutting away from my body and away from my hands. Now, when I go over to the other side to cut the other side of my triangle, I'm gonna move my hand out of the way and then I have a triangle for my roof that's got a really awesome texture on it as well. So I'll glue those down. The very last thing I think I'm going to add to my paper is some yarn. I found this in my classroom. It's really fuzzy, it's very soft. I think that would be fun to fill my paper as well. And then I kind of like that it matches the piece of tissue paper that I have. So now I'm gonna decide what do I wanna make this yarn into? I think I will glue it down in kind of the shape of a balloon floating beside my house. So I've got an oval up here, that's another shape for my balloon, and then I've got a wavy little line coming down. So we can't wait to see what kinds of objects you find around your house, what kinds of textures you find and end up including in your artwork this week. Please don't forget to share with us what you've made. We love seeing your artwork and are so excited to hear how you liked this visual texture project. Don't forget to feel your art after you're done with it this week. That's the most fun part. We hope you guys had such an amazing break with your family, got to rest, spend some time at home. I know I got to sleep a lot, which was so nice, but we are so excited you are back and we can't wait to see what you create this week. Bye.